So, <laughs> this is, uh, so I have a, a quick, I'll get straight to the point. I am wondering if it's worthwhile doing a trader's podcast. Not, and I'm very really late to the game. I, I don't, you know, I, I now discover that I love listening to a podcast if I'm driving in the car, I'm walking the dogs. I love it. And I love um, podcasts about uh, stuff that really makes me think about stuff. So either based on good books or a bit of history or a bit of stuff that really adds value. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was interviewed for A Trader's Life. That was pretty cool. But that's not really the kind of thing I'm thinking about. Um, I wondered if there'd be an interest in a podcast that talks about a range of different topics, not just like what is a strategy, but, you know, you could talk about Mark Douglas's Trading in the Zone or a really good book, uh, Market Wizards. You know, you could talk about different approaches. You could talk about a little bit of the history of trading, which I think also helps to explain why some markets are the way they are. Um, and so I could invite <clears throat> guests to come in. I could speak and interview other traders. And I think there's a, yeah, like for example, one example is that I was in New York recently staying in 110 Wall Street, which is now, which what they're doing is as a result of COVID because people are not working, you know, people are working remotely now. They are converting office space in downtown in New York into apartments, which is great. Um, and they're doing this around the world as well. It's not unique to that. Uh, and just up the road across, uh, around the corner, was is the Intercontinental Hotel from the John Wick movies. Uh, but this was also, I didn't know this, the Cocoa Exchange. So originally you had a coffee exchange and a Cocoa Exchange. You had all these different things as well as the stock exchange. So I like the history of that. And I thought that talking about that stuff is kind of interesting. Also maybe talking about, you know, are they really out to get you or, um, you know, uh, why trade commodities or why trade currencies or what's a sensible approach to that? You know, you can kind of, there's lots of topics that I think are of interest. Like why do we, what's the psychology behind things? Um, and what was also interesting just to go back was 110 Wall Street, I didn't know this, but that was the building in which Bernie Madoff uh, was started running his, <clears throat> his Ponzi scheme out of, you know, so there was like just so much in interesting history. And uh, I also like the idea of, of often when I, there's people that I might subscribe to that I like, they, they might have a live stream from the studio where they're recording and also have an audio version of it. So usually going to listen to the audio version of it, but I quite like the idea that there's also potentially a video version of it. So this is why I'm testing out, um, I'm testing out software, I'm testing out OBS Studio, and I'm testing out the idea. And I thought, so quick survey is, do you think that if there was a podcast for traders that talks about a variety of topics that actually impact the trader at home? All right, the learning trader, the intermediate trader, the experienced trader, because also trading is a very lonely activity. So even once you've got it, once you've mastered it, you're like, okay, if I just do this, I'll continue to make money. It actually kind of becomes boring. Some people go on and live their lives. They play golf, they hang out and they don't, you know, trading becomes what, what we think it is, which is just an hour a day or a half an hour a day they do in the background. But for a lot of people, their friends are at work and they have nothing else to do. So they need other activities. So anyway, so this is something I'm thinking about. Please give me some feedback on this. Do you think that something like this could be of interest? My plate, as I said, is full. I've got so many other commitments already, but this is definitely something that I think could be amazing. And it wouldn't have to be long. They could be 25, 30 minute episodes um, and something that could be very cool. So uh, give me some of your feedback, please. And uh, I'd appreciate it. So thanks.